Today in Survivor Guns, I'm going to talk about my new Glock 42 and the ammunition issues. This is going to be my new uh, concealed carry gun, and um, I give it a thumbs up, but with some caveats, and we're going to talk about that now as far as uh, ammunition issues and problems. Um, so, so far I have fired um, Full Metal Jacket uh, Wolf ammunition, some PMC Full Metal Jacket, uh, Golden Saber by Remington, uh, Spear Gold Dot, and PDX-1 by Winchester, self-defense ammunition, the last three. So two full metal jackets and three. Um, I didn't have any problems whatsoever with the uh, hollow points of the uh, defensive ammunition. Um, and they're all billed as uh, very good defensive ammunition, the Winchester PDX-1. And the PDX-1 is a 95 grain bonded jacket at hollow points. The gold dots are uh, 90 grain. And the Golden Sabers are 102 grain. So the issues with the Full Metal Jacket, so here are the results. The Wolf, abysmal. I mean, this is terrible ammo. I, I looked it up after I had problems with it, and it got like one out of five stars on one of the sites. Um, the problem that this one was having, we're going to show a cleared, cleared gun right there. And the problems uh, that I was having with the Wolf would be um, failure to extract. It was powerful enough to retract the slide and try to pick up a round. Um, but what I found was um, I would fire the wolf ammo and it would cycle, and then um, it would be uh, you'd pull the trigger and there'd be nothing there because the uh, round never extracted. And the reason why it didn't extract is after looking at the cases, if you look right here, there is um, on all these other ammo, all uh, four of the different am ammunitions on the 380 ACP, there is plenty of space here, and it's within spec, enough room for the very large extractor that the Glock 42 has to get in there and extract the cartridge. Right here, you can see the Wolf ammunition. It's got a really narrow space there. Just enough, not enough space for the extractor to get in there and to pull that round out. So that's the problem with the Wolf ammo. Also, it's extremely hard to hit the target. There it is with the jacket hollow points at 33 feet. Pretty far, but that's all I had today. Um, but the wolf wasn't even hitting the paper, so I would not recommend it at all. Never using it again. And I'm glad it's almost uh, out of the ammunition. But that's uh, the problem with that. You're going to get um, failure to extract. People are having all sorts of problems. Plus it's dirty. Okay, the PMC. Very surprising the PMC didn't work. And, um, and here's what happened to PMC. Uh, it only fired, um, no failure to fire. This one had stove, uh, uh, stove pipe jams, where it's going to look like this. That's called a stove pipe, and that's what I was getting with the um, Full Metal Jacket PMC. So I looked it up, the, the foot pounds on it, and the reason why it was doing that, it's uh, kind of weak. Uh, this gun is not for a weak round, so that's 169 foot pounds, not enough uh, velocity or mass to retract a slide. So um, with the PMC, just not powerful enough for this gun. Uh, all 380s are going to have a parameters in which they're going to operate well, and you could have them just for real low-powered, almost like with shotguns where you can't shoot uh, target rounds and certain automatics. Small guns are unforgiving, so it just doesn't like low-powered rounds. So PMC, a no-go. But Fiocchi, and there's a lot, Federal, there's a lot of other um, full metal jackets out there that are going to approach the 200 foot-pound mark, and that's what this gun... I'm recommending because the the PDX1, which is um, well, the Remington Golden Saber is 200 foot pounds with um, uh, so enough power. The Winchester PDX1 hollow points are 95 grains, 211 foot pounds, and the Spear Gold Dot are 196 at uh, 90 grains, and no problems whatsoever with those three. However, the Golden Saber didn't uh, eject very far, only like three feet to or three feet. So that one's right uh, on the edge, probably because it's so heavy, the velocity of the um, slide isn't that high. So what we're going to do is, um, uh, when I go to buy more ammunition for this gun, it's got to have a minimum, I'm, I'm going to say uh, 195 to 200 foot-pounds minimum, and hopefully uh, plus P is going to work. Some people have issues with the plus P is going so fast, it's, not, it's um, locking back with still more ammo in the gun. So my recommendation, it's a great gun, get powerful enough ammo or it's not going to cycle. Make sure you test it before you carry it. Thanks for watching Survival Guns.